Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and I hope you are all doing well and welcome to unlucky episode 13 of our Hartlepool Road to Glory career mode. Hopefully it won't be unlucky for us, hopefully we will have a good couple of games after that. At the end of the last episode, obviously we finished with that 4-all draw against Mansfield which did drop us out of the playoff positions but hopefully we're just looking to solidify ourselves and just be a bit more solid in, in these next couple of games and hopefully come away with as many points as possible and push back into those playoff spots. We know it's going to be a difficult task as we mentioned throughout this series, but fingers crossed we can do it. And we start off with this game here against Barrow at home to start the episode off. We did make one change to our sort of usual starting eleven that we've been using at the minute, which is Francis Angle coming back in centre-back, replacing Byrne in that centre-back role. He, he made a couple of mistakes in the last episode, so we just brought Francis Angle in just to try and give him a chance. And obviously with his contract running out at the end of the season as well, we wanted to give him a chance to see whether... We want to offer him a new contract and whether he will be part of our plans going forward. And fingers crossed he can play well. Listen, I don't I don't wish anything bad on him. He's had a few mistakes this season, but fingers crossed he can do well and hopefully he can earn that new contract and, and potentially we'll give it to him if he does keep up those performances. But you can see in this game we've had a few a few chances here. There was, there was a few chances for Barrow. Uh, Bruff had a really good one. It was a really good save from Killip. Uh, White had a good one on the volley for them as well, but we also had a good couple of a good couple of chances. Eastman had a really good one early on, and Cullen had a good shot as well. But we did manage to make a breakthrough there with Eastman with his first goal for club since joining from Sutton United, and it was a really good finish actually, a really good run by Luke Molyneux down the left hand side, plays it into the middle of the box where Eastman was there to just smash it home. Obviously, we brought him in to replace Stevens, and he's doing a stellar job so far in just a couple of games he has played, and the game did. Finish 1-0, capping off a really solid performance. As I say, after that 4-all draw at the end of last episode, we just wanted to be solid, concede as little goals as possible and try and grind out these 1-0 wins and grind out a few wins. And that's, that's the best start possible to get that 1-0 win against Barrow. We did pick up a slight injury in that Barrow game. It was Mark Cullen, the striker, who was out only a five-day injury with a, a bruised shoulder, but nonetheless, it's still an injury. And it, it piles onto our injury crisis that we've got going on at the club at the minute. And especially in the striker role, the only fit striker we've got at the minute now is Cook. So he is starting this game against uh, against Crawley Town away from home. But he was the only available striker we've got. Obviously Molyneux is a striker, but we're playing him on the left. But it, Cook's the only, only striker. He hasn't played too much this season. But fingers crossed he can do a decent job for us up front. And then hopefully going forward we'll have a couple of our other strikers back. But we did manage to get the, get the breakthrough in this game through Crawford. A really good run, cut inside from right-hand side onto his left foot and smashed it past goalkeeper. Crawley, worked, Crawley did get a few opportunities. You saw there a really good block from Francis Angle. He's he's justifying why he's putting him back in the team. And, and a really good block from him to keep the scores down at 1-0. And then we did have another chance there through uh, through Cook, the the man we're playing up front. But unfortunately, the keeper saved it. And the corner came came to nothing with Molyneux's header there. But Crawley did manage to get a goal back here. You can see the ball, it just ping-ponged around a bit. We made the first challenge, but it fell to a Crawley player. They played it through. It looked like potentially Nadison was offside, but... The flag didn't go up, so obviously it wasn't. And Crawley did manage to pick us back to one all. So we didn't obviously want to lose this game. We didn't want to drop points in this game against Crawley. And we did push on trying to get that trying to get that lead back. Hollahan had a good chance there. But unfortunately it did go wide. And that is how the game finished. And it did finish one all. So it's a point and a point's a point at the end of the day. And it's, it's all positive. Obviously it depends on teams around us as to whether that's going to be a positive point or a negative point. But ultimately a point's a point. We still didn't lose. So we're happy with that. And as I say, we're not conceding the amount of goals we have been throughout the season so we'll definitely take that and the good news kept coming from there with Mark Cullen and Tyler Bury both saying they're both back ready to play obviously uh, Cullen's only been out for five days so he should be fairly ready to go straight away and Bury's obviously been out for a little bit longer he's been back in training for a while and we do uh, he, he is available and we, and we look to put him back in the first team squad straight away we did get just on the youth academy side of things we did uh, Watkins did complete his development to a central attack midfielder he started off as a 59 rated player and making that position change dip him up to 61 and then we put him on a shadow strike just to increase his shooting going forward and then we did also give uh, give a promotion and a debut in this game against Sutton United to Ben Dunbar the left back 67 rated left back really good player to be fair on paper he's, he's better rated than Ferguson now he's not going to be in the first team over Ferguson. As I say, I want to keep this as realistic as possible and, and youngsters aren't going to come in and play every game week in, week out. But we want to give him the opportunity. Ferguson was the only left that we had at the club, so it's a good opportunity for them to battle it out and try and 
and try and sort of fight for that first team left back spot and hopefully he can have a have a good career here. But he, as I say, he does make his debut here against Sutton, deputising for Ferguson. So with him and obviously Stevens that injured, but with him and Stevens, two really good young prospects coming through the club. So hopefully they can be with us for a long time and make us grow and help us grow into a team that we want to be. But we did obviously concede the early goal there. It was a mistake from Sterry who who um who, who sort of let the ball go to the Sutton player who managed to put it in for what for a one 0 lead for Sutton. But Craig Eastman scored his second goal in the episode with a really, really good volley from the edge of the box, to be fair. If, if you missed it, make sure you go back and, and watch that one. It was a really good volley from the edge of the box. And then we did manage to take the lead ourselves through Luke Molyneux. A good run from him. His first shot did get saved by the Sutton keeper, but fortunately for us, it fell. Molyneux followed it in, and he did manage to smash it home to give us a 2-1 lead in this game that we will look to hold on to. Ferguson had a chance there just before half-time, uh, having the shot on his left foot from the edge of the box. We know he's got a decent shot on him, and it was a good chance for him, but unfortunately the keeper did save it. And then the return in Tyler Bury has a shot there, just from the right-hand side. It wasn't, I don't think he was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper there, to be fair, but he wanted to get a shot away, and um, and he did, and it was a decent shot in the end, and it, and it caused the goalkeeper a little bit of difficulty. But Sutton kept pushing, had a good chance there, Killett made a really good save, but we weren't done. And we were looking to, to score a couple more. You could see there that the ball fell to Gray, but unfortunately he couldn't knock the header down. And Sutton did break on us. Wilson cut him for our defence. Odessina and Franz Sangor were chasing back, and Wilson really should have really should have put that on target, but he did he did uh, smash it well wide of a post in it, and the scores did stay 2-1, and we did manage to, to get a victory. So two wins in this episode and a draw. We cannot complain at that. No losses in this episode, and that will not harm our playoff chance at all. And you can see it just messages Bury and Cullen coming back and saying... Um, we're back already, thank you for putting us back in the team and I know it's going to take us time to get back but fingers crossed we can do a good job and Ben Dunbar coming there, really happy about getting his debut for the club and you can see just in the bottom there, we are now 5th in the table in those playoff positions, it's still tight but fingers crossed we can do it but thank you for everyone for watching, make sure you do like and subscribe and comment down below take care of yourselves, adios